G'day and welcome to another video to do with Moodle. In this case, I'm going to show all you maths and science people out there a wonderful little tool that we've got built into our um, editor called MathType. It's by a company called Wirrus and it's the same one that they're going to be using on the QCAA endorsement app on the portal for when you're building your exams. So it's an actual really, it's actually a really cool tool in that it allows you to build your equations and uh, formulae in the editor rather than having to try and hand draw them and scan them and all the rest of it and or whatever else you're using like GeoGebra or whatever it's called. Uh, in this case you can do it all the way in there and you're using the same one that they would be using in the portal. So how do we use it? Well first of all you need to have a course that you're going to be using it in and then you need to turn editing on. So to turn editing on we click on the turn edit button, turn edit on button and you'll notice it takes us right back here. Now I've got my test course here and you'll notice it's editing now because I've got my wonderful pencil and I've got my buttons over it, menus over here that tell me how to do things. So this is a section that I'm going to put it in and as I scroll down you'll see some of the layout and this is one I've done before which is fantastic. We will build a new one. Um, so there's two main parts we have math type which is used for creating mathematical formulae or functions or I'm not a mathematician you'll tell me and we also have chem editor chem, chem type which is used for creating chemistry style uh, formulae as well so we have those two and to build them it's quite simple if you want to have it di displayed in here that's fine but uh, essentially wherever the editor is you can use math type so it could be in a label which is what I use uh, for displaying on my main course page. It could be an assignment if I want to put it in the description, uh, not in a click view URL. We can use it on a page, uh, in a quiz if you want to. Anywhere where there's text um, editing where you're going to be editing text, so like a forum um, or a lesson or a glossary, a wiki, you can use it in a book if you want to. Um, I'm just going to use the label because that's my favorite one for displaying on the screen like I have behind here. I've used a label. So a label is used to display content on the main course page. So I'm going to do label, click add, and I'm going to get my editor. So here's my editor, lovely blank thing here, and uh, I'm going to type in here's an example of math type. Um, right here. Now, where do we find it? Well, we've got all these wonderful buttons here. Undo is really awesome. We can uh, record our voice and all those things, add click view. But to add our formula, we're going to come down to this wonderful one here. This is math, insert a math equation for math type, and this one's insert a chemistry formula. Essentially, they work the same way, where when I click on it, it brings me up my math type editor. Now I can resize this by dragging, very useful when I want to do bigger um, formula. And I can start off by doing uh, x equals, I don't know, 2 over y, simply by doing that. Notice the green boxes give me, a, uh, give me the places to write in. I could then add that, y, the square root of 24, I don't know, I'm making it up. And if I press OK, that inserts that into here, which is great. That's fantastic. It takes a little bit of time to type. Most math teachers are used to that. But I want to show you this fantastic little tool over here. It's a handwriting one. Now, you all have styluses that uh, work with your computers. Um, unfortunately, mine's dead at the moment. But uh, what I can do here is I'm going to use my finger and I can actually, now notice down here in the right, it's actually converting it into a formula straight away. x equals 2 over a minus b. I'm just making that up. See what it says down there. Oh, look at that. It's too big and it's not in there. So to erase something, I just squiggle over the top and it gets rid of it. See, that looks like a... Um, see if that's a 2. There you go, 2 over a minus b. B. Excellent. I can put that in brackets minus one. See what it does. Oh, it's getting too smart for me. 
See how smart it is? It's actually trying to figure it out actual with proper maths. See if that can do it. Mm, still not. Okay. So neatness is something that you need to be aware of when you're starting out, which with a stylus is probably not too bad. That works for me. Again, press OK and it inserts it. Now, once I've got it in there, if I need to edit it again, I've got a couple of ways of doing it. I can select the whole thing and then come back up here and click on that. Or I can just double click on it and it opens it up ready for editing again. So if I select all that and then do that, notice it now gives me that. So I selected it and then clicked on the one that I want. It's also got um, subscript, superscript, and I guess that's the major difference there with chemistry formula. Um, you've got lots of symbols you can choose from as well. Greek letters, matrices, for all you maths geeks that love matrices, I don't get them. Um, and all the way down. So these are your most general common ones here. You can do things like bolding if you really want to. Um, change the color. Uh, don't know why you'd want to, but you might. Um, you guys would know. I can add some text. I don't know why I'd want to, but I could. And it adds it in. Notice it actually saves it as an image as well. So I can then save image as if I really wanted to and save it somewhere else. It's an SVG, which is uh, an image that we can then resize. So using an SVG editor like Inkscape or one of those ones um, and so forth. You'll notice as well that the editor saves our drafts as we go. So that's useful um, as well. So that's the editor there. Now if to do chem editor, obviously, um, it works in a somewhat similar fashion where if I click on the C for chemistry formula, now I'm not even going to begin to know what I'm talking about here, but you'll notice that we get a chemistry tab. Now this one has common um, elements there. Um, if you click on that, you get a whole bunch more. There's your entire periodic table. Oh look, there's argon. Um, so if I really wanted to do, I don't know, H2, I could then go H and then over here to SO, whoop, back to normal. I don't know how to go back to normal. Whoa, look at that, I can go all the way down. Like I said, I actually don't know what I'm doing. Uh, SO, and then I can come in here and I can put this one in, and here I can put this one in and go, okay, name it, H2SO4. So there we go. And we can make that. Likewise, I can do this. Let's get rid of that. H two S O four. And in theory, there we go. We got some sulfuric acid. Um, I could do N A C L again. Neatness is really important, but it actually figured out that I'm talking about sodium chloride, which is common table salt. Press OK, and it goes. Now, obviously, those ones you can actually uh, type out, but the really impressive part happens when you um, start putting in these things to do with formula interaction. So these ones here to do with your equilibriums or reaction in both directions and so forth or forward reactions. So that's where it really starts happening. Again, all the other things like bold and color and so forth are there as well. So that's uh, chem type and math type built into our Moodle editor so that it's one more tool to try and make your life easier when you're actually doing these things. Enjoy.